Warm welcome. I am glad you could spend some time for these wonderful animals. Let's begin. Please share the video if you liked. The red-eared slider, also known commonly as the red-eared terrapin, red-eared slider turtle, red-eared turtle, slider turtle, and water slider turtle, is a subspecies of semi-aquatic turtle belonging to the family Amididae. It is a subspecies of the pond slider. It is the most popular pet turtle in the United States, is also popular as a pet across the rest of the world, and is the most invasive turtle. It is the most commonly traded turtle in the world. The red-eared slider is native to the southern United States and northern Mexico, but has become established in other places because of pet releases and has become invasive in many areas where it outcompetes native species. The red-eared slider is included in the list of the world's 100 most invasive species published by the International Union for Conservation of Nature. The carapace of this species can reach more than 40 centimeters in length. The females of the species are usually larger than the males. They typically live between 20 and 30 years, although some individuals have lived for more than 40 years. Their life expectancy is shorter when they are kept in captivity. The quality of their living environment has a strong influence on their lifespans and well-being. These turtles are poikilotherms, meaning they are unable to regulate their body temperatures independently. They are completely dependent on the temperature of their environment. For this reason, they need to sunbathe frequently to warm themselves and maintain their body temperatures. Red-eared sliders are almost entirely aquatic, but as they are cold-blooded, they leave the water to sunbathe to regulate their temperature. Incubation takes 59 to 112 days. Late-season hatchlings may spend the winter in the nest and emerge when the weather warms in the spring. Just prior to hatching, the egg contains 50% turtle and 50% egg sac. A new hatchling breaks open its egg with its egg tooth, which falls out about an hour after hatching. This egg tooth never grows back. Hatchlings may stay inside their eggshells after hatching for the first day or two. If they are forced to leave the eggshell before they are ready, they will return if possible. When a hatchling decides to leave the shell, it still has a small sac protruding from its plastron. The yolk sac is vital and provides nourishment while visible, and several days later, it will have been absorbed into the turtle's belly. The sac must be absorbed and does not fall off. The split must heal on its own before the turtle is able to swim. The time between the egg hatching and water entry is 21 days. Thanks a lot for your time. I will wait for your next visit. Till then, bye and see you soon.